On 7 tonight, new revelations from the financially strapped city of Inkster. It's technically broke and the city manager is out, but still on the city payroll. Less duty, same pay. Big questions, how and why? 7 investigator Jim Kirchner digging for answers. The vote on this happened Monday night with the city council. The mayor would not go on camera today, nor would the interim city manager running the place now. And I'm more than happy to talk to you about this, but I don't like speaking on camera. How can I be sure that you're going to be forthcoming with the information that I'm seeking and all of my questions are going to be answered? Well, that's what you do as part of your business. Here's the now former city manager earlier this year when the city was under fire with several protests over this controversial police beating on tape. More on that in a minute. We've heard your voice. We appreciate and we care. 7 Action News has learned Marsh was paid $93,000 a year as city manager, could have been let go and given four months severance at that pay rate. Instead, he's given a special advisory title with a one-year contract and the same pay, 93 k a year. To me, it's past being a sweetheart. It is. It's past being a sweet. Where else can you go and people come up with something like that? We're told we had to file a Freedom of Information Act request to get the documents, and we did. Inkster technically broke is under a consent agreement with the state. Lansing officials say this can be done by elected city officials. He promised to get grants. He promised to do very different things in this city. So why are they keeping him on as an advisor? Now, that's a good question. The new duties for March have not been specified, but it will be much less than running the city day to day. Less work, same pay. If you don't tell us where he's going or why, why should we bother letting him get paid? Inkster taxpayers were socked with paying $1.3 million in a settlement with the man in this video, Floyd Dent. It's on their summer property tax bills. And now this. Why would they get, get, put them and give them another job? I've, if he's been a bad supervisor, it's all been bad for me. There's also a new police chief coming to Inkster starting next week from Selma, Alabama. In Inkster, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Now, Rich Marsh did respond late this afternoon saying his title is senior advisor, not special advisor, and it is not less work. He says he is helping the city emerge from the consent agreement with the state.